What's up guys, I'm Hell, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. And, as you guys can see, I've got a nice little new fancy skin. Yeah, yeah. It's got some, uh, some stripes on the side of my shorts over here, and, you know, it's got some, got some Jordans on. It's, this is pretty much exactly what I was wearing today, so, well, minus the shirt with HB on it, but, yeah, I think it looks kind of cool. It's more, uh, more me now. My old skin was a Navy uniform, and that's what I actually was. I was actually in the Navy. So, as you guys remember from the last episode, we went over to do a tour over where the where I killed my wither skeletons, and we got two skulls. So I went back over there today, and I killed a couple of them. Actually, just a couple, maybe ten, and got the last head. So here we are. We're back over here in the desert, in our uh, desert mining area, and we are going to kill. This is where we killed the last one, just right back here. So I didn't want to use this area because it's kind of too open and I didn't bring a bow with me or anything else really for that matter. So just got my uh, my trusty looting sword here with Smite 5 on it. So we're just going to go ahead and I got my armor back on, right? Okay. Well, let's give this a go and booyah. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. This would be the third weather I killed and I never got that achievement. That's outstanding. Okay, let's go, let's go, we gotta go quick. Before he gets too high. Oh no, I, I do this every time, I'm gonna die because I didn't bring anything. Got it. I'm gonna die though. I didn't bring a bucket of milk, I do this every time. Every time. Maybe I won't die, this would be kinda cool, right? Uh, let's see, it would be this way. We'll just start running back. Oh shit, that's a creeper. Really don't want him to blow our stuff up. Alright, we'll just die here. <laughs> this happens every time. Alright, so we made it back. To get up all our stuff. Man, I, only, I think I was like level 39 or 40 or something like that. I had just, uh... Finished enchanting some, or repairing some armor. So, just for this fight, actually, so that was good. Uh, let's drop that right there, that'd be fine. Put that there, that there. Alright, cool. So, we've killed three withers now. Um, only have one beacon, though, because I don't have enough iron. You know what? That's it. That's that's what we're doing today. We're, we're building an iron golem farm. That's it. I'm so sick and tired of not having any iron to make beacons or do my storage because that, that project has been sitting there for quite some time now. I would really like to finish it so that's what we're doing today. We are going to be building an iron golem farm and I'm going to go grab the materials and I will catch you back in a very quick moment. Alright so I haven't quite got all the supplies ready yet but I wanted to come over here and check and see how many villagers I had. I actually have 39 right here and one here so that's 40 I don't think I'm gonna need more than 30 for this I think I think 30 is gonna be fine and that way I can still keep a good amount of villagers over here so I can actually move them further away so that I can continue having a villager breeding an infinite villager breeder and then actually I might hmm I might move them back to base but mostly gonna be building this stuff out of cobblestone because one I'm never gonna see it and two I've got a lot of it, so that's going to be that. And I think this might be enough wood to make enough all the doors that I need. Because I'm building Tango Tech's Iron Titan, but I'm not going to do a 32 version or a 64 village version. I'm going to do a 16 village version because I really don't need that much iron. I think 16 is really going to be really going to be enough, so... I'm going to run back to base, grab the last bit of few supplies, uh, I know we have enough villagers now, and I will be right back and we'll go ahead and get started on this. Alright, so I've got all the supplies moved over from there to over here, and this is exactly where I'm going to be building it, and this is within the spawn chunks, that's actually the center of the spawn chunks right there, and so this is definitely going to work. So all I have built here is the mechanism that's going to keep the spawn chunks active forever. 
So as long as I'm playing the world, the spawn chunks will always be active because of this mechanism here. So, and then I also have the iron hooked up to, or the iron golem farm. I've got hooked up to the iron pathway here of where it's going to go. And it's just going to end up in this chest here, which I just have the materials I'm going to be using to build this, which I'm going to be building out of cobblestone, again, because I cannot see it anyway it's gonna be over here and I was gonna do it over there but I I didn't feel like flattening the area and I didn't feel like dealing with the water so I just decided to go with it over here so it's fine it's, it's all gonna work out so I flipped the sides on that down there and the sugarcane farms actually gonna go over there and this actually kinda works out a little bit better too because the infinite villager breeder I won't have to move at all because of where we are sitting at right now which I, I just need to go destroy the doors real quick just to make sure but yeah so I've got this built the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the actual platform of where I need to start and then I'll be right back oh man it's not done but I think it looks pretty big <laughs> I gotta say it looks pretty big in the sky and this is one-fourth the size that the video tutorial is actually talking about uh, the video tutorial is saying a 64 village version this is a 16 village version and again uh, a link to Tango Tech's Iron Titan will be down in the description if you guys would also like to build this in your survival world or on your server but yeah I, I have gotten the entire thing built except adding the villagers and the doors and I have here we'll, we'll jump up here and we'll take a look at the inside up here let's see if I can yeah oh I'm gonna overshoot it nope okay all right yeah so this is where the villagers are gonna go right there and right there and I need to make one more pod as well for some more villagers back here and I think I'll go ahead and do that now all right I know it's nighttime but I I got tired of jumping down and sleeping to build this constantly so I'm just kind of building this at night time so I've got these guys over here these guys up there right above right here there they are and then those guys over there and my pit over there is almost almost empty actually I think I also while I was at it separated two librarians and two um an armor and a weaponsmith so let's go let's go check that out actually so i got the can't remember which one it is okay i got the toolsmith on this side and the weaponsmith on this side so once i unlock these guys trades i will be able to uh sell them iron for stuff I killed a pigment earlier too while I was here. Then I got the librarians, of course. Alright, guys. Oh my god, like. I started on this project five hours ago. I'm exhausted. Like, absolutely. Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. I. Man, like. Doing the 32 village version? Like, the, the people that do that are freaking crazy. Alright? But I'm about to move the villagers down into their permanent slot holders and supposedly in about 60 seconds or less actually I should be getting four golems up here uh, almost instantly so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cross my fingers here and hope to god I did not do anything wrong so let's break that and then power that and I had to use a sticky piston because I didn't have anything else. I didn't have a regular piston to do this, so I didn't, I didn't feel like running back to base. I don't even think I had a regular piston back at base, so. There's those villagers. Oh no, not that block. This block. And then this block. All right. There. Oh man. 
You know, I really kind of don't want them falling. Why is it so laggy? Uh, you know what? It's probably because it's so many freaking... There's two. Alright, so I need to see two more. Don't fall off, Mr. Golem. Please, don't fall off. There's so many mobs down there. He'll get into a fight and blow up something, and then that'll be just bad. Hmm, I'm only getting two golems. There's 40 villagers up here, so at minimum I should really... Oh, there's... The, oh, there they are. Okay. All right. So, yes. 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 I did it all right. Oh, man. Like, I screwed up so many times. So many times. Like, I went back. And, like, I, I was on the... It's like one, two, three, four doors, right? And then... I forgot to put the door back here, and I was, like, linking up the other village, and then it was just like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you screwed up. Time to start over. Because, like, I don't even know how that, uh, man, that lag. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refresh my game here before I continue building the rest of this. But that is that. We have iron golems. That means we have an iron farm that is fully working right now. Well, sort of. we got to build the canal. And the drop shaft is already half made down there. You guys can see the light coming from the lava. But, yes, yes, I'm so excited. Okay, alright, I'm going to do that, and I will be right back. I've made a terrible mistake. I misplaced a bucket of water, and the entire room turned into source blocks. Everything was going so smooth. And, like, ugh. Oh. I had the lava that was set up and that was killing the golems and like everything was perfectly fine and then like I did the bottom row, I did this row and then I was just, I was just, I was literally on the last corner too. I had finished those three corners and then I placed like a bucket of water, I think I placed it right, right there and it just filled the whole room with source blocks so now I'm going through and I'm deleting the source blocks. And I hope I'm not breaking any of the villages by doing this. Hopefully, I mean, these are half slabs, so that transparent block, so that shouldn't be, shouldn't be breaking any doors. But wow. Uh, so close to being done, like seven hours. And then this happens. So close. I gotta go get more lava buckets too for those guys. Uh, they're gonna start piling up. And now, of course, as you read on the screen, I have been slain by an iron golem. All of my junk is in that pit. I was trying to ender pearl out. And of course, I don't have any more ender pearls. So, the consensus is I've lost everything. That's about how long I've been working. All this was 64 of dirt. Ooh! Ooh, that didn't go through. Oh my god, I have no idea how I'm going to get my stuff. Because it's still it's still angry. It's still angry. Um, I, don't even, I can't even get back up there. Oh my god. Um, hmm, actually, oh! Ooh, okay, I need to make a pickaxe. Uh, I need some wood. I, I wasted all my wood making doors. Okay, all right. We got to hurry up, though. What I can do is I can break the bottom out, right? And then they all fall down, and then the, I, the hoppers will collect all of my stuff. Oh, there's some wood. I think I have some sticks. There we go. Uh... I think I have some iron, right? I have some iron, I think. <laughs> oh, it looks so cool from down here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I did get the uh, the water situation sorted out. So that that's taken care of. Everything seems to be working smoothly. I just need to uh need to grab my stuff. I don't even know how to get in there to break that. I think, well, there's no lava in there, right? Yeah. I just break. I'll break the furthest one away first. 
Where's my stuff? My stuff. Oh, my stuff. If I break these strategically, the, the iron golems won't actually fall down. But my stuff will. Because I'm going to need... going to need my diamond pick, and I think it's right there. Oh, I almost got it, too. It, it, I saw it fly in there. So we're going to break that one. Oh, no, please don't kill me. Okay, I got boots. Man, where is the... St I, need, I need the pick. Don't tell me it's sitting on top of an obsidian block, because that would... Oh, my God. Okay, let's go to the other side. Over here. Well, I, I tell you what, let me grab my stuff, because th this seems like it's going to take a minute. I was slain by an iron golem. An invisible one. There's an iron golem in there. Yep. No idea where he's at. Watch him kill me. Oh. Oh, I guess it, I guess it really was just bugged. Because... Wow. Anyway, well... I went, found some lava. There was like one diamond next to it, so I could replace the lava back in there. There was about 180 iron golems sitting there waiting to be killed. Uh, I think I was able to... manage the entirety of killing them all. See, there's there's an iron golem right here. There has to be. Fuck, there's, oh, yeah. So bug. There's, because there's so, there was so many iron golems in this hole itself. Ah, there it is. Now, on top of everything, these guys just mess you up, you know. Huh, <sighs> man, today has been crazy. It is now let's see, eight hours into this. Eight hours. I I put a solid eight hours into this. That old. I mean, I took breaks in between, but what am I gonna do with these leftover doors? Because these are these are the doors that I had to intermediately put in the middle of the farm. So. You can't burn them, like, at all. Like, look at this. You can't put, can't put doors. Like, you can't even, you can't use them for anything but doors. I, I gotta honestly say, I'm beat. Eight hours. Eight hours. This thing. Because I had so many problems. I did take a lot of breaks. This build should probably take you no more than, like, three hours to do. If you've got some patience and you don't mess up at all, but I messed up quite a few times, obviously. But I think that is it. I will catch you later.